Here we go then, guys. Digwell's December Digest. That took me four attempts to get that right. Just a bit of harvesting, really. Fair weather gardener, me. Here we go then. Here I guys. Just harvested the last of my tomatoes, and it is what this December the thirteenth. Absolutely incredible tomato Roma. Roma VF. These are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, and they're a nice tomato as well. Right. What I got today is tiger nuts. Now I've never grown these before. Ouch. All the information on the internet says to harvest them when the grass has gone brown. And this has gone brown, so I'm going to harvest it. Spookily enough, it only went brown this week. So again, this has lasted right into December. So I'm just going to tip these out. I'm going to cut the... Should I cut the top off now? Oh, there we are, look. <laughs> As usual, I thought. Right, no idea what's in here. So I'm going to come round this side a little bit. See what we got. Oh, tiger nuts. <laughs> oh, blimmin' eh? And worms. I reckon this might be easier to sieve. Well, I chalked that one up as a failure. Plenty of little nuts, but they're all squidgy. And there's probably just as many vine weevils in here as there are. Tiger nuts, here we are, and that's a vine weevil. So that's going to be uh, out for the birds somewhere. Right in this, we look at these parsnips. If I can find any. Massive. Oh. Nothing to write home about. There we go. Not too bad. Yeah, at least I think we have a couple for Christmas Day, so I'm going to get those washed up and bring you back. Alright guys, I haven't done one of these for a while, potato reveal, and I need a few for a pie I'm making, and some for Christmas, and these are Sarpomira, and these were large potatoes, sown on the 13th of April. Oh. Well, wait, let's get a few out already, and they're just falling out. It's a very manky one. Oh no, it's just gone brown. Green rather. Cool. 
There's the old mother one, seed. One of them anyway. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, let's go get another bucket and wash them and see what we got. There we go, not bad. Like I say, a bit scabby. So uh, I'll get them home and uh, weigh them. That one has been eaten, so we can go straight in the compost here. Oh, and these are oh, Nicola, uh, four potatoes, 7th of August. Quite a few there. Quite a few have washed away. No, no way. Right. Mm. Oh yes, they'll be nice for Christmas. I'm growing more of these next year because uh, quite a few people have said how good they are. And looking at this, I'm going to have to tend to agree with them. Just the right size as well. A couple over there to remember. Ooh. Right, let's get those picked up. And we can have a quick furl then because we risk burying them again. Wow. I am liking those. So we'll take those home, get them weighed up. And of course, a leek and potato pie. A leek potato mushroom pie. Needs a leak. <sighs> yeah, I'll do. Get the skin off at home. There's a lovely celeriac for you. Totally hollow. <laughs> oh dear. Let's do the last one then. Not too bad. We'll get a bit out of that. A bit of parsley. And I reckon that's me today. Oh. Right, let's get home. Well, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Just a bit of a Digwell's Digest, really. So let's go around the harvest uh, clockwise from the parsnips. Parsnip sabre. Yeah. Now they were given away as free trial seeds by DT Brown last year. I had three packets. Two packets were sown direct and one packet was chitted on damp tissue. And I got ten parsnips out of all of them. They're now being marketed by DT Brown and I for one will not be buying them. That's for sure. Uh, the carrots. Very, very nice. Surprisingly, carrot too, Sean. The ones I grew in small pots were terrible. The ones I grew in the blue barrel, fantastic. So we might be doing those again next year. Um, tomato, Roma, as I said, just gone over now, just finished. Uh, cayenne, peppers, still got loads of those on the, the bush in the greenhouse. 3.3 kilos of sarpomira, a bit scabby. But I've had scabby potatoes all year long, you know. Um, it was a weird year. Leeks, um, what are they? Autumn Giant 2. They always do well for me, so I'll be growing those again. Some thick ones, some fingerlings, but the fingerlings grow thicker over the winter, so yeah, they'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll be there next spring. Celeriac Ilona. <laughs> that is the only one I got out of six or seven plants. The slugs had a feast on them, but that'll be, uh, that'll be safe for Christmas because they store so well. And the, what do you call them, the second sowing potatoes for Christmas. Nicola, and I will be growing those again next year. They they, they just look so good. <laughs> Not a blemish on them. Uh, just under a kilo from four little seed potatoes. The parcel is missing from the photograph. It's sat in a glass on the kitchen windowsill. It's one of those Italian giant ones. I've got two or three varieties growing. Don't know which one it is, I can't remember. But it just, it just grows and grows and grows. Anyway, we've got the makings of a good soup there, I reckon. 
And of course I've got to do me chicken leek mushroom pie. So I better get on then guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you soon.